Hello and welcome. Um, today I wanted to make a video um, about star seeds and just to explain a little bit about what a star seed is, um, some of the symptoms of star seeds and some of the different types of star seeds as well. Um, it is very common at this time for people to be asking the questions about um, humanity and why this exists and who am I? What's my role to play? What is my purpose? You know, um, a lot of these questions are coming up and people are reaching out all over the globe for these answers. So um, I thought in my own little circle, what, what better way um, than to do a video just touching base and letting you guys know what a star seed is. Um, so firstly, maybe asking, what is a star seed? Um, so a star seed is an elder or an advanced soul um, who was chosen to incarnate um, on this plane of existence, right? So um, usually they have come back here to help uh, humanity ascend with the ascension process, um, Sometimes they are sent here to set up different light grids or um, to do work for future star seeds or colonies to be able to enter. Um, you know, not everyone can just come here if they want to um, or be able to. Sometimes there has to be a pathway for them to follow to get here. Um, usually they assist with humanity. Um, teaching them compassion, sometimes sharing technology with them. Um, sometimes, too, they will incarnate and come back to um, link up and meet up with other soul groups as well, um, usually to share or remember, um, sometimes for diplomacy reasons, to kind of um, link up with some of the smaller star seeds and to create a rapport and a dialogue um, with them for future future endeavors which is kind of cool as well um, and sometimes some star seeds are reincarnated here on a more of a personal mission um, generally to help the entire race or galactic beings from where they have come from um, not all star seeds are here to help humanity though we got to remember that um, in no way does a star seed mean a good thing or even a bad thing for that example. Um, a star seed simply just means that their seed of consciousness, their seed of existence, right, um, has come from a different star system. So although they're here, they are also not here, which you may resonate with a little bit. Um, right. To connection a strong trait of a star seed is their longingness for love and connection as well um some of us have come from really far away so to be here at this time it feels very strange and very different um and we're just birthed with that knowing that there's definitely more more to us and more to this existence um, so that can be, yeah, very difficult. Uh, so now we'll look at some of the symptoms of a star seed. So that's simply just what a star seed is, right? Um, now here's some of the symptoms to trait symptoms, characteristics of star seeds. Right? So they can be very empathic, um, deep, deep feelers, sensitive souls that um, sometimes can seem a little bit out of character in how emotional they can get over what we think are small things. Um, they can have problems fitting in as well. And I'm not just talking about, you know, at school or at work. I mean, like, with general society and, 
the world really as a whole it can be quite difficult um to assimilate and to embed ourselves in um they have a deep knowing since birth so they'll be born with a knowing sense of knowing that um you know something else is there is this right is this where i was meant to be do i belong no um they can have really prophetic dreams so quite deep um prophetic dreams i would say if you're dreaming about natural disasters or uh humanity technology kind of based dreams things going wrong end world scenarios um I would say that maybe your mission is more aligned, closer aligned to helping humanity ascend and maybe sharing and offering um, some codes and gifts that you may have unlocked. Uh, I would say if your dreams are more based around the stars or different planets, um, kind of future technologies and opening portals and stuff, maybe your work or mission may not be so much to deal with humanity but working with other soul groups to link up here and um progress on different timelines things like that uh what's another thing they have a strong sense of self so they can as much as they're not very confident or they can be confident but they know they might not share their confidence with you right but they always do have that confidence and self-esteem inside they're very self-assured and know their mission and their purpose as much as they may get confused or imbalanced um there is definitely ingrained that deep sense of knowing as well um energy exchanges yeah sometimes they can feel that their energy exchanges are not equal so they may find love or feel love um but it's really much a kind of a give take relationship with them and that they may feel that it's not always equally reciprocated um just because it's it's really impossible <laughs> to do with these people um they have inner wisdom they're not bound by time that's another thing and they may feel alone or have a sense of oneness so again that just ties in with the fitting in um, they know that this is not their home they may long for home or a purpose or that sense of community um, that they may or may not find here so some of the types of star seeds so this is some research for you guys to do um, if you've resonated with it or feel that you may be a star seed um, but you just want to learn more uh, here's some types of star seeds that you can then go on your own time and Google and research. And um, each group will have their own sort of symptoms, um, you know, their own extensions like Facebook groups or YouTube videos or characteristics and photos um, that you may resonate with and may trigger memories. Um, this part's more about trying to give you guys the information so that you can then build onto it and choose if you are a star seed or which star seed you are um ultimately we're all beings in existence oneness and togetherness anyway um but it can be nice to have a bit of a sense of direction or some understanding i know a lot of people are confused um and just need to clear clear their mind clear their head and get some foundation and reinforce what they already know to be true um sometimes with facts and figures can help the human mind to kind of comprehend it rather than just like our oh, faith which can be difficult all right anyway so some of the star seeds are lyrans uh, arcturians palladians syrians the ansha uh, reptilians nordic beings the draconians you may have heard something about those guys uh the eight and the avians the blue avians there's also um purple avians kind of like bird-like creatures um i think as you go up there are some sort of gold golden white or gold trim avians and things like that um arcturians is another really 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 good one to look into um beautiful beautiful beings oh my god all right well hopefully everything i'd said here today will reach you if it needs to reach you um this message is timeless so no matter when you watch it there'll be something in it for you and i just hope that you guys can take these sort of messages and research that we start and take them further and do your own kind of questioning and your own searching and go down that rabbit hole for yourself and um you know find some information that 
maybe isn't so easily available that you can then share with others. That's basically all we're here to do is um, put the ball back in your court and give you a bit of stability. So thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day if you're watching this on Sunday. That's so dope. And yeah, let's thank you.